Holy. Welcome back everyone. This is a video I haven't really had the time to edit it and put it up online. But this was taking place during the fall run. And you can kind of see there's a boat off to my right, but there was a blitz that was kind of fading um, that I just stumbled upon. So I'm fishing in Rhode Island, um, sat to its point. And so there's this little jetty outcropping over there. And I saw one guy, he hooked up over there. So I decided to uh, head over here once they left, just because the blitz seemed to have died out. But that's the thing with blitzes. Sometimes the fish go under and they come right back up. And I got lucky after after they left, just a couple more casts. And, and then I was hooking up and it was nice to persevere and just a little patience and you never know what will happen. You gotta be really careful, especially when you're fishing by yourself, walking on rocks, especially if they ever become submerged, they are wet as all can be. Um, I'm only wearing water shoes, but I recently bought some uh, Quakers with some metal studs. Um, so I'm looking forward to using those next season, hopefully keep myself a little safer. So for my setup, I'm using a Pen Prevail, a nine foot medium. Um, I gotta say, it, it really is a great tool for everything surf casting. I mean, it, it's all around like a really good rod just to get into the game and get out there fishing. And right now, as you can see, the fish are still here. I mean, I'm getting smacked on this uh, Super Strike pop, popper. Um, it's the one and a half ounce, I believe, uh, floating. Uh, that's why it has the green eyes. I'm just using a plain white style. Uh, and so it comes with a single hook in the back and a treble on the belly, but I moved the tre treble to the back um, Just so that would be less hooks um, And eventually I was gonna replace them on my pen prevail. I got a Pen spin Fisher 5500 um, with 30 pound braided line and a 40 pound leader um, attached by a swivel connection and I gotta say it is a pretty sweet setup it does the job um, not too many wind knots um, it, it really does take a beating and it, it keeps on going I never make sure it gets submerged and I make sure it always to clean it afterwards so it really is a good reel so as you can see in the last uh, cast right probably midway through my cast I was getting smoked at and right now you can see oh, I just got hit a couple times and the fish kept on trailing that's what you don't have to stop just knocked it out of the water it's still coming after these things they love these super strike poppers <laughs> goes.
Some big old bass. Pop them here. 